What's going on guys? Welcome back to Pat Outdoors. This is going to be day three of Project YZE, YZ250 electric dirt bike conversion. Today I want to get this bike looking pristine. I don't want a speck of dirt on this thing when we're done with it. I was reviewing some of the comments from my last video regarding what I should do to this frame. And I think my favorite answer is to get it to a polished aluminum finish, almost like chrome. I'm also going to be going over which motor and controller I decided to go with. I'll go over that in a little bit. For now, I wanna throw on the rear subframe, tighten up some bolts, and load this thing on the back of the Pathfinder. So I don't actually have a place to wash this bike myself since I'm in a apartment garage, as you see. So I'm going to take this to a self car wash and I'm going to pressure wash it right on the rack. I think that'll be the easiest. All right, guys, I just want to quickly go over the motor and controller setup that I decided to go with. I reached out to Electra & Co uh, to inquire about their QS138 V3 kit. I've been looking at that kit for a while now because it comes complete. It's plug and play and I like the customer support and communication from Electro & Co. Kevin and Stephanie are pretty quick to answer any questions I have about their product. So yes, I probably could have gotten it a little cheaper piecing out a generic QS138 kit from AliExpress or Alibaba, but I like the idea of having customer support in case I have any issues or I have any questions in the future. I think I got the kit for like $13.50 shipped. I went with the EM200 controller and after speaking with um, Kevin, uh, he recommended that I just skip the DKD display and just get the voltmeter if I have a dirt bike since it doesn't really have too many functions besides display displaying like speed. And there's not like a bunch of settings or modes that I can toggle through or anything like that. So that is why I went with Electro & Co. I'm just going to spray the whole bike with this degreaser and let it soak for a few minutes while we wait in line for these folks to finish. thing is looking clean this is definitely the cleanest it's ever been but we do still have some work to do we can only get so much done with a power washer so we're gonna get down to polishing so what we're gonna do now is work on getting this dull aluminum surface to a more polished and smooth almost chrome like finish what some of y'all suggested is to use some scotch bright along with some wd-40 and um, scuff up the whole frame till it's super, super clean and then hit it with some mag polish by Mothers. But I don't have WD-40, I only have PB Blast in the garage for the meantime. So we're gonna try this out. Hopefully it has a similar effect. If not, we'll go out and get some WD-40. So here's how it looks after just one round of hand polishing. The surface is a lot smoother. You can see a clear reflection of my hand and my fingers. This is just one round of scrubbing it down with a Scotch-Brite and the PB Blaster and hitting it with some Mother's Mag Polish. 
it's just one round i did another test spot over here just so you can see there's a big difference in the sheen instead of like this satin aluminum finish this is just like two minutes of rubbing it with down with some mag polish for some reason it didn't do too much with the swing arm it got a little shinier but this must be a different type of material we're gonna keep trying i also forgot i have an electric buffer so we are gonna hit it with a buffer after the second round hopefully we get this thing looking pristine Damn, check out that difference in that finish just from two rounds of that mag polish. That mother stuff definitely works its magic on this aluminum frame. And the buffer helped get it closer to that polished aluminum finish that I'm looking for. Though I'm still having an issue with the swing arm. I don't know if it's just got a different coating on it or whatever. This whole bike is definitely gonna take a lot of man labor. So at this point, I'm not 100% set on getting the whole bike to that polished aluminum finish just yet. I spoke with my wife since I'm technically setting up this bike for her and she prefers it be stealthy looking, kind of like a Suron mixture of satin and gloss black. So I am thinking about getting the whole frame powder coated wrinkle black, which I think would look dope, but it's gonna cost me hundreds and hundreds of dollars, but it's gonna save me a lot of time and effort. We also still have some time to decide since Electro & Co said my package will likely not ship for another two to three weeks. So I'm thinking about getting some 2020 or newer style gloss black plastics for this bike. I think that would look really good with a wrinkled black frame. Let me know what you guys think. We've got some time, but if you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you like this kind of content, want to keep up with this project or any of my other bikes, consider subscribing to this channel. But this is going to be it for today. Thank you for watching.